yeah i think it's going to be nil nil uh second leg for psg dortmund dortmund in the final uh it's going to be one nil real by unreal in the final and I said miracles going to happen and then dortmund it's going to win the champions league the last topic i have for you guys is the ucl semi finals which is going to happen uh the leg 2 is going to happen this week and the teams are basically in a limbo anyone can win as of now Bayern and Real Madrid are two all as good the game the game is going to be uh, at Real Madrid now so um the onus is on Real Madrid to win um and Dortmund lead PSG 1-0 and the game is going to be in Paris so everything set uh, in limbo uh, let's go towards the first game Madrid versus um Bayern let me go to Abhinav uh, where do you think this tie is going to go I don't know what else to call it because Real Madrid are going to win this in some way, shape, or form. Because mm-hmm. as good as Bayern have been in the first leg, all they needed were a couple of mistakes from the defender. I think Kim Min- Minjay or someone. I think he he screwed up with Vinicius and then gave away the penalty. All they need is a couple of chances, and then they'll kind of they'll just put you to bed, right? So if if Bayern can do that in the second leg and create chances and score and then not give away something then i think yes um they have a chance but i can't see anything but a real win uh it's it, at their stadium it's it's all it, you can you can actually call the champions league their trophy to be honest so their trophy <laughs> their stadium so i think they have to win it uh and they will win it uh it's just that they'll be more compact i don't think they'll be as negative as they've been against city Uh, because at that city second leg at etihad they were just like hoping and praying that city wouldn't score um but i think this one um uh, they will put put it to bed and they, they'll just aggregate 4-2 or something they'll win it said uh, do you think tuchel can basically take by into the finals and i think whoever wins out of this side of the uh the fixtures is probably going to win the champions league what are your thoughts on that Yeah, I will agree with what you said at the end. Like this is the Champions League winner uh, we are going to pick basically from the semi-final. And I think it's going to be Real sadly. I mean not very sadly, but the thing is uh it's again going to be Bayern who are going to like play well throughout. They're going to have like more seeming to have more control in the game, but Real just have this ability to, you know, like just drive through towards the end and get those goals. just that typical champions league dna that they have and i think that is just going to be the difference because other than that these two teams are good teams historically but they are not playing to their very best at this moment and that is why we also saw like the scores as well right it was just a draw it was a very close game at the end and i think real playing at home will be at a slight advantage given how they just have this knack of you know clinching games at the end so i would go yeah. for a real win yep yeah aj resident dortmund fan do you think uh, bayern can come offended. up i'm feeling offended i'm feeling offended like all three of you are saying uh, the other leg is going to produce a winner i completely disagree but we'll come to that <clears throat> mm. but uh, Yeah, I mean this this first leg was literally exact replica of Arsenal versus Bayern, right? Arsenal totally dominant, two mistakes cost them two goals and uh, they just flopped in the second leg. And I think it's it might not be as bad a performance as our second uh, leg was, but I think Real Madrid will pull through. Uh it's very difficult to get a result at Bernabeu, especially given the the transition attack or transition uh threat that Real Madrid has. with Rodrigo and Vinny Jr running from both the wings Bellingham doing his own stuff even when he he plays like Haaland having like very few touches he those touches are miraculous and then he creates something out of those touches uh mm-hmm. they have a strong defense they have the whole stadium behind them uh i think it would be it'll be a very hard ask for Bayern to come away with a victory although i would as i said although i don't rate Tuchel in leagues <laughs> i do rate him in in knockouts so if one manager i would bet my money on it will be too cool so i still go for a narrow narrow uh this thing narrow victory for real madrid wait i think if you want to make bayern's case and again i have no basis or reasoning for this the only the one of the 
most destructive defeats Real have faced in Champions League was against Bayern Munich. And again, <laughs> if you guys remember that Chel- that um, Mourinho match where uh, Ronaldo and Kaka missed penalties against Bayern, Bayern Munich in 2012. So yeah. yeah, again, probably they'll repeat the same. That was like that was also at the Bernabeu. Um, but then they lost. But then they lost to a team who ne- nobody expected to win, right? Oh my God! Yeah, we're oh, also forgetting the hurricane jinx, comes bro. In. That's where this comes in. <laughs> <laughs> We're also yeah, forgetting Harry the Harry Kane so, I don't know and, like... <laughs> Yeah sorry go on <laughs> Yeah no no I'm, I'm just saying that I, you know, Yeah maybe Bayern can repeat that And then go to the final um, Yeah we'll see This is one side of the game Now let's go to the Dortmund side And the PSG side uh, Dortmund performing really well in the first leg uh, Jaden Sancho Stealing the show Clinic Clinic, Clinic. Jaden Sancho and, Clinic yeah. uh, Clinic and uh, let's just go to state straight. Do you think see Sancho can come to the finals of the Champions League? Something that United haven't done in the last I don't know thirteen years. Bro, if Sancho wins the league, not in this jersey, I will start crying, literally. Like <laughs> anything, I will wins anything. Yeah, <laughs> if he wins anything, not in a United jersey, while he's being paid three hundred grand a week <laughs> by United, United to play for another crazy. club. I mean that is just like nuts, and I cannot take that. It just shows how poorly run a club United is right now. But uh, it was from a different perspective. Yeah, it was great to see Sancho play that well. You know, like it just sometimes shows why we w- even like chased him for two seasons to try to buy him in the first place. Like he clearly does have that. You know, like ball carrying, dribbling persona, the trickster vibe right? that he. Like he had the most take-ons in in a game this season, I think. Like that was I was reading some stat around that, and I mean, if at all we sell him next season, performances like these will just help us get more money for him and so, uh, like slightly improve the state of the club, uh, like for our rebuild next season. So in all, it's good if he plays well. I wouldn't like it as a fan if he wins the league, obviously, but uh, it's okay. I guess it's just too much toxicity. You can't deal with that right now. Uh, Aze, you think Dortmund can, you know, reach the final with the like because uh, the game is going to be at Parc de France and uh, Mbappe would have something to say there. So mm-hmm. it's it's probably yeah, the, his last chance to do something with PSG in the in in the Champions League. I think he's he's gonna get more chance. I don't think he's going anywhere. I think it's just one of those things. But anyway, for an, for another day. Uh, yeah, definitely, man. I think uh, the nobody expected first of all Dortmund to play the way they did against PSG, and Sancho was obviously like the standout performer, running up and down the wings, uh, going past players, dribbling, shooting, passing, everything was top notch. But then there were like certain other players who did pretty well. Slaughterback was amazing. Ian Matson. Great. Uh, then there was uh, Julian Brandt was awesome, and they have. I mean, the finish was again great. Sabitzer again, one of United rejects, uh, was again ran the show really in that game. So, so the whole team played really, really, really yeah, well. Yeah, so good, so fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so they, the whole team played really well, and I think they can reproduce that performance. They have a narrow one goal lead. Uh, anything can happen in in Champions League, right? So you can't really say for sure. But I do back Dortmund to go through. Also because it's going to be like one last tour for Roes, right? And it's not going exactly. to be as long as it's not going to be as long as Klopp's, where you have to <laughs> pull through like twenty five games to to get the get to the parade. It's just two games now, so let's do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think you could. I mean, you've been talking about Sancho, talking about Mbappe, and everything. At this point, after me, uh, Dortmund's going to just do it for Royce, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and, and it's with not without any basis, right? I think they've done well in the first leg. PSG are not that of that formidable in a position, to be very honest. Without this season, at least. I mean, they've come to uh, the semi semifinals. I get that, but on on their day, they came to semifinals because Barca screwed up in their quarterfinal yeah. royally. And before that, I mean, not sure, but. If Dortmund can just kind of keep their calm, they can definitely be in the final at Wembley. And at that point of time, I'm just hoping the guards will smile on Dortmund and just kind for, of, you know, for Real, Real's going exactly for once and for Royas. So if they can just get to the final, I think something miraculous is going to happen and Royas is going to sign off with the Champions League trophy. So yeah, yeah. just looking forward to that. 
and PSG are also missing their uh, like Luka Hernandez. He suffered ACL. Plus Donnarumma mm-hmm. is super mm-hmm. suspect. Like he's extremely suspect when it comes to claiming the ball coming out and like you know mm-hmm. even shot stopping. I thought he was good at shot stopping, but he proved me otherwise in the first leg. Like I think that was a savable shot, although it was uh, shot with venom and it was like such a powerful hit. But it was so close to him that he could have done a little bit better. Uh, but in the first leg, I uh, not in the first leg, but in this uh, leg against Barcelona when they won at Camp Nou, mm-hmm. I think he would have he would have definitely given a penalty if it wasn't an offside on on Lewandowski. And plus, there were right. a lot of other other incidents where he was suspect. So I think they are vulnerable at the back, and uh, they can be you know have a Dortmund can definitely have a go at them. PSG are only no, in the um, semi final right now because I of mean so many things can happen. Up, go so. ahead. No, I was just saying PSG are only in the league uh, in the semi-final right now because of how Barcelona royally fucked up in that uh, match, like playing uh, playing with ten men. So I don't think PSG. Sure, I mean, are like, at that uh, anyone's yeah. gonna win the Champions League because Arsenal fucked up against Bayern. <laughs> so, <laughs> bro, Arsenal. Uh, that's one way to look at it. We Very optimistic. Yeah. That's what we do. That's. No. That's the history of Arsenal. <laughs> Arsenal, Arsenal, like, didn't history. fuck up, fuck up though. Like Arsenal were just kind of, I don't know, for lack the, of a better, better word. Bro, we fucked up. We just I don't, Arsenal, I don't want to go there. We fucked that up. That is the word. But no, Arsenal like, just shown. Up. Arsenal were just shown their place. Uh, but okay, fine, whatever. That's what I'm saying. It's the history of Arsenal. <laughs> As okay, Kelly nah. said for Tottenham, this is the history of Arsenal. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, need up. Go ahead. But. Yeah, no, I'm just saying the combinations of finals are just so tasty. Um, Bayern could face Dortmund in a repeat of uh, Der Klassiker 2013 Wembley. Bayern could face uh, um, PSG, which could be a, another final which has already happened in 2020, a chance for revenge for PSG. PSG could face Real Madrid, which could be Mbappe Derby, sort of like his last uh, hurrah before, against a team that he's going to join. And finally, um, Real could fade Dortmund, Dortmund which yeah. is actually nothing. <laughs> no, Bellingham. Marker Royce is fair, well. Bellingham. Mm, yeah, Bellingham is there. Then it's kind of like a working class team versus like the top, you know, like the... No, Bellingham Darby. Uh, Be- bro, Bellingham was uh, Dortmund, no? <laughs> Bellingham Darby. <laughs> Don't give him too much. Don't give him too much importance. <laughs> bro, <yeah>. um, <laughs> yeah. I think he's so, risen up too yeah, quickly for tasty. his own good, but... I think, yeah. to be honest, I feel like PSG or Dortmund are winning this time. I don't think Bayern Real are. Yeah. If yeah. if Dortmund yeah, are not winning, I was just going to take a, yeah. I was just going to no, take if the Dortmund are not. Anywhere. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, uh, Abhinav, start with you. Just give me your predictions and like a quick. Uh, who do you think is going to win? Yeah, I think it's going to be z- nil nil. Uh, second leg for PSG Dortmund. Dortmund in the final. Uh, it's going to be one nil Real by Unreal in the final, and said miracle is going to happen, and then Dortmund is going to win the Champions League. That's amazing, uh, AJ. What do you think? N- nothing needs to be said anymore. I think Dortmund are winning it. That's all. I don't care. Who's going to come? Who, I don't care. Who are gonna, okay, okay, sure. Said. Yeah. Uh, I think going into the knockouts, Dortmund were the most underdog team. And I'm glad they have reached this far. I think they'll go into the final. They'll beat PSG. And I think it's going to be like Dortmund versus Real. And Real will win. At the end. Okay. Real, Real will be served a very humble pie in the final. Very much. <laughs> served by Sancho. <laughs> yeah. Served by Sancho on a plate. <laughs> They'll be they'll be they'll be sit down. They'll be put all the napkins. They'll be served like a five course meal, and then a very humble pie. So, yeah, and, yeah. and I, he'll I'm be serving that pie to Ten Hag as well. Win. Interesting. I'm gonna go for a Bayern so, win because it's Harry Kane's year. A Bayern win, a uh, England Euro win, a uh, Ballon d'Or. That's what I think is gonna. Happen. <laughs> I don't know who they're gonna face, PSG or uh, Dortmund. But I feel like it could be Dortmund, but. Regardless of it, Bayern is gonna just be too strong. Um, if I if they face Dortmund, I think if they face if they face Dortmund, definitely Bayern is gonna win. I was gonna say same, and yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if, if they, they face, face PSG, PSG, also, PSG gonna is win, gonna win, and then Tuchel is gonna have, have a pie on his face. So, yeah. <laughs> if Tuchel wins the Champions League, then definitely he's not coming to United. That's like career suicide. 
<laughs> Bayern won't let him go anywhere after that. But yeah, let's see what happens. A lot of exciting football to come, and we will be here for another episode of Full Time Banter. Stop the stream. Bye.